Hi friends, welcome to the weekly market map session for Nifty Bank Nifty and the broader markets. Today is 14th of June, uh, uh, you know, 2021. We're starting off with a hot and humid day, so I was seeing the humidity is at 88% in the morning. So I'm hoping it will just, you know, the is going to be a tough day in terms of weather, but let's see the rain monsoons are almost here as well. Okay, so coming to Nifty and Bank Nifty, you know, we'll start with the review of the larger time frame structures, which is daily and um, sort of you know the weekly profiles, and then drill down to the uh, smaller time frame structures. Typically, that's the approach. Okay. So if you see Nifty, you know, uh, this was the last swing high, almost 750s, uh, you know, uh, and then we sort of corrected and then broke above. And now we have been holding above. Yesterday's low was just above that. So I'm assuming 750 is going to be the sort of make or break, re, uh, you know, zone for Nifty. So until we are, you know, continuing to hold and trade above that, we'll have to have a bullish buy. So around 750s, 730s, this region. So this region sort of remains in a, in a swing basis uh, as your key sort of make or break zone for a bullish bearish bias okay uh, until you know from a swing point of view okay so the uh, the nifty structure is pretty consistent and good bank nifty we have a bit of a different structure okay bank nifty of course you know uh, we have not been able to break through so now if you see compared to this was the profile the week before and then this profile is uh, le so we have you know after a string of um you know higher value areas we have formed a lower value area in bank nifty on the weekly profile okay so that makes it a bit dicey and that's the reason see nifty and bank nifty are in dissonance one of them has to really catch up this is something we've been discussing in the uh, trade room as well so now bank for bank nifty my key reference is about you know 35 uh, 150 160 to 35 100 roughly that zone okay so until we are uh, sort of holding above that or until you are not able to get above that actually you know we will not really be uh, sort of having a bullish bias at this point okay so we really need to start holding above that okay we just closed around that region so we have to see how we open today and how we play that okay so uh, on, on on the downside if you if you really continue to hold lower a uh, bank nifty has a potential test to uh, you know the last week's low of course and then uh, for, uh, this level 34 400 and probably lower to 33 800 as well okay if you're able to hold higher we can sort of scale back to 35 600 and higher okay so what you see on a larger time frame in bank nifty if you see we had this uh, strong weekly you know strong uh, uh, cumulative profile okay so we have uh, sort of almost peaked at this point the epoch of this profile if you see it's just a touch and go so you know i was expecting it to uh, scale to this region 36500 but on uh, the other side of the profile but it has not so so far it has just peaked on this 36k the profile epoch actually so uh, this is now a bit of a hurdle. Okay. Now, if you see uh, compared to that, this was a, uh, you know, uh, uh, just a second. So this uh, was a bit of a, the previous uh, swing high also for bank nifties and uh, low. So, you know, 35, 500. So really uh, uh, th th that's a level which has a bit of a high and low confluence. So that's an uh, interesting level to really scale and get above. So uh, any, you know, any pushbacks to 500, I think, uh, you know, until we are not clearly, really clearing that it is going to be range bound and uh, sort of rotational below 100, I think short, but uh, within this range, I think we continue to rotate and so, you know, show uh, violet movements. Okay. Now coming to uh, recent, uh, I think the daily charts. Okay. Oh, this one, sorry. Okay. So now this was uh, like uh, fr Friday. Yeah, this was Friday. So again, uh, Nifty, if you see, this was a confluence level I'm looking at, uh, 800 areas as an immediate reference point from a Friday's point of view. So if we really crack that, then uh, test back to 760, 750 is possible. Okay. So and if we really hold this, and then we can look for a pushback, else uh, sort of look to play lower. Okay. If we really break below and get below this zone. But uh, the primary thesis would be to see, number one, look for a pullback from this zone. Okay. And for Bank Nifty, uh, my key reference zone is this okay and we also have as i said we also have this confluence level at 500 okay so uh, the bank nifty structure uh, you know if you see the price structure bank nifty structure has been sort of 
uh, lower highs, lower lows. So we really need to take uh, this level out. Okay, at least the 400, 500 region for Bank Nifty to, you know, for us to consider uh, really being bullish on Bank Nifty, 375, 400. Okay, so we really need to sort of hold above this. Okay, uh, so if you're holding below 100, 150s, I think we can have a bearish bias. Okay, if we manage to hold that, I think then you know we can look to scale to here and see what, how we react that but uh, real bullishness can come only if you start holding our 400s else uh, you know within this zone i'm expecting market to be rotational bank nifty okay not uh, so don't go in full size within this zone look for a break on either side and then we can see how markets react okay uh, now uh, see the my 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 belief here is uh, if you look at the other indices, the you know uh, Nifty 100, Nifty 200, the small caps, and also the PSU banks, uh, so they have been sort of holding higher and making higher highs. So from that context, you know, I am still uh, of the belief that we have a leg higher, we can move higher. Let's see how it goes. But generally, most of the you know, CNX IT is broken out, and so it is holding up Nifty very strongly. For Bank Nifty, the PSU pack is still doing well. So I am expecting you know market to sort of you know um, still be able to hold and scale higher okay what we had is very interesting order flow activities for the last uh, couple of days on nifty and bank nifty uh, let's look at uh, bank nifty first in this case so uh, if you look at this uh, you know uh, fall on i think this was what friday uh, yeah this was so if you look at this fall on friday okay it was almost an 109k delta which was completely absorbed and we were taken out so you remember we were looking for this 53k areas so that really uh, 3500 so everything you know in this fall was absorbed so this level uh, has essentially means that we have significant buyers present at this level okay anywhere between 3500 35100 areas okay so at least that was the clue from friday okay and then I think the other day also we sort of absorbed here if you see 150s 160 so you know between these places we, we are really absorbing this 35 35 100 area so this zone i'm looking at as a strong absorption zone so so that is uh, that is another challenge we anything that has been you know fast move down has been absorbed and sort of taken up so ideally again I think 35, 100 30, uh, regions, if you really hold below this region for, from an order flow point of view, uh, you, you have a more closer confidence, which is 35,050. So if you really hold below that, I think, you know, the, the you can look to rotate more lower. And if we sort of get a week here, I think there's an upside possibility. Okay. On Nifty, uh, I think Nifty also, we had a similar thing. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, not much of a delta on that day, but again, Nifty, if you see everything was absorbed. So this was the sort of the key confluence, which is 780. If you rem if you see now this, you know, we also have 790 here. So generally around these areas, you have to see the price reaction because price has traded a lot of times around this zone. We have a lot of, you know, a few levels to watch out for, but generally from a footprint point of view, I think 780 is, uh, 790 is a key, uh, key area. And then below that, I think if you see 730 is another area I'm watching for. Okay. So uh, that's it. And, uh, and this is the zone we would want to sort of break and hold or either of it. This uh, volume edge. Okay, which is 750. We discussed it here itself. Okay, so 760, 750, I think. Yeah. So generally, that's the plan. Let's see how we go. You know, goes uh, again. Just a quick reminder, just to recap things. Nifty, the structure remains bullish. So we, you know, until 750 holds, we look to trade a pullback. Bank Nifty range bound 35100 to 35400. You know, um, sort of break above or below that region is my you know, core trade play at this point. Okay. The rest is we will see when the market opens and the order flow and stuff. Thank you.